So I'm here today to do a haul video, and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm really excited because I have a lot of things to show you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. First thing I want to show you guys, of course, all of the ranting and raving, we're all excited about Riri Ri Woo. Ri Ri Woo. Say Ri Ri Woo ten times real fast, right? Okay. Sold out now, so unfortunately, if you didn't get it, I'm sorry, but you probably won't get it until June, um, because that's when they'll do another re-release. Re-release. Get it? Re? But anyways... I'm, I'm, I'm being stupid. Make sure that you guys check that review out. I will put a link right here somewhere on this screen so that you guys can click that link and see the full review on that lipstick. So, moving on to my next. I only have three beauty products that I've hauled recently, so I'm only going to show those. Um, I have bought a lot more stuff for my kit, but it's mostly just like replenishing things that I've already had, like brushes and stuff like that, so I really didn't feel like showing out any of that stuff. But recently for myself, I have bought two other things. I've bought the Lime Crime Velveteen, and this one is in Suede Berry. It's pretty, you guys. It's real pretty. Like It's a really, really pretty um, coralish reddish color it's it's it looks like red on lighter complected people and on darker complexions it looks more of a pinkish coral color so I really like this um, it, it goes on like a lip stain so if you don't like the texture of lip stains because they're too drying you might not like this but that's what this is it's it's a it's a lip stain and it dries to a matte finish this, I love the consistency of it it was sold out for a while so I had to wait till they restocked it to get it but I like it I think it's really really pretty also recently I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This one is in ebony and I used it on my brows today. If you didn't see my last video, I will link that somewhere on the screen or down below in the description box. Check that out. I wanted to get a really good pencil and I've been hearing a lot about the Anastasia Brow stuff. So I decided to go to Ulta and get this. I think it's a good investment just because you can put it in your purse when you're on the go if you need to touch your brows up. One side has the little spool and the other side has the pen. Um, you know, fill it in really, really lightly. Um, any sparse places where you don't have any hair or something like that. It looks more natural. It looks more like actual hair. So that's cool. I'm going to move on now to my shoes. At the beginning of April, I got these shoes, right? These are the Steve Madden Dart Heels. They are a whopping four and like three-fifths, seven-eighths, three-fourths, something. For basically almost a five inch heel. They have a pointy toe and they're a stiletto. These are so gorgeous. I love these shoes. The color's in pewter and I got these from Zappos. I also got these boots recently, like two weeks ago. I just, just now wore them yesterday, but I got these boots by Palladium and they are just a mono, monochrome red boot. I also got these from Zappos. I love Zappos because Zappos ships overnight. I got these because my dad had on some blue ones and I was like, those are so cute, Daddy. I want some. So I got me some in the red and I thought they were really cute. And apparently this is a men's shoe, but I kind of don't care. I'm, You know I'm a tomboy, so that's how we do it. And I also got these um, white high top sneakers from Urban Outfitters. I wanted these because I, I've i been looking at these for a while and I wanted them, but I really wanted like those, you know the Isabel Morant looking sneaker wedges that everybody has been obsessed with? They're not very good quality. I know they're going to turn colors, but it's just a little cheap alternative to a, what, $800 pair of sneakers that I don't... I got some sunglasses and they're just these round gradient ones they go from blue to pink I thought they were super cute they make me feel like a rock star rock star yep speaking of sunglasses I also got some from Go Jane and I'll show you guys what else I got from Go Jane I've been obsessed with Go Jane lately I have some stuff in my cart that I want to get <laughs> but um I got these glasses from Go Jane and they're just the cat eye um leopard tur tortoise whatever that's called um and sunglasses and I've been wanting some cat eye shades because they've been really in style lately and I just thought that they were so cute so I decided to get them. They were only five bucks and that's what I love about GoJane. Some of their stuff is really cheap so GoJane.com you guys. GoJane.com. Also from GoJane I got um, a few like under underoo garment kind of things. I think it's important during the summer, the spring and the summer to have a lot of versatility um, just because it's going to be hot and you can't really layer too much so you kind of have to be careful with what you're wearing underneath your clothes. 
um, because sometimes things can be very sheer, very see-through. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I had all of my undergarments covered. So I got three pairs of these really cheap, inexpensive shorts. They're, they look like booty shorts, but you can wear them like under like skirts and dresses and stuff. I got a black pair. I got a neon pair. And I got a red pair. I got some bandos. I got a neon one, a black one, a white one, and a red one. And they're just little bandeau tanks that you know you wear underneath your clothes. I got these galaxy print shorts, and I love these shorts, you guys. They have little pockets on the side and they zip up and they're just really, really comfortable, really um stretchy in the waistband. They're just everyday shorts. These are like really, really thin. Um, so they're not hot and they're just really cute galaxy print shorts. So from ASOS I got this dress and it's a really long dress. It's just um, like a t-shirt kind of fit at the top and it's striped and it goes all the way down to my mid calf. It's a cute bodycon dress that stops down at my um, calves and I thought that it was really cute and it hugs my booty and looks real nice and so I plan on wearing that with my my man. I got these overalls, but they're just a basic pair of overalls. They're short at the bottom and they have a lot of distressing and rips and tears. I just thought they were really, really cute. They're not worth the price that I paid for them. I think these were like $70. But I had a gift card to ASOS um, because I went to a Teen Vogue It Girl party and they gave out these bags with like uh, ASOS gift cards. And then I got this American Apparel skirt. Um, and it's just a high-waisted skirt, denim skirt, and it fits like a bodycon skirt, but it's, it's just denim. And I really like this. I love 90s looking stuff. You guys know that. So I was really excited about this skirt. Recently, I went to the outlet malls in, um, San Marcos, Texas. If you live in Texas, you know where that is. It's outside of Austin. And they have these huge outlet malls. And I got some things from The Gap. I got these pants and they're just these lavenderish lilac pants. Gap was having like the Gap outlet was having a 50% off everything in the store. Um so I was really excited about that. So I got these pants and they just they taper at the bottom and I cuff them. Um and they're just like kind of like khaki material but they are lavender. And I thought those were really cute. This bright neon orange scarf. I thought this was so pretty. Um, I love it, and I don't know when I'm going to wear a scarf in the summer, but we'll see. I'll probably do like a turban with it or something. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Then we went to Rue 21. I'm not a fan of Rue 21. Their name sounds like Forever 21. I don't know why that bothers me, but it just does. But I got some jeans from there, and they turned out to be like half off of half off. They were like only $10, $10 I think. These are really cute. And they're just some basic skinny jeans, and they have floral print on them. These earrings from Aldo, and they're just like tribal print round earrings. I usually don't wear stuff like this, but, you know, I'm trying to branch out with my accessories, so we'll see how those look on me. I want to show you guys some items that I got from this store called Mew Mew. And Mew Mew is a store in Dallas. It's a consignment shop where they resell um, clothes that are, that are name brand, very high end, um, a lot of them would be super overly priced, but they're marked down to a ridiculous like 70 to 90 percent off because they're consignment clothing. So, you know, people, of course, they're kind of like thrifted, but it's a very high end thrift. So it's not like you're getting the junky stuff. You're just getting the really, really good stuff. Like they even they would sell Louboutins. They sell really expensive stuff at that store. So I wanted to go to the store, but I didn't have time, so I went ahead and bought some stuff online. First of all, I got this sweater. This sweater was originally about 100 something dollars, and I got it for 20 So I thought that was really cool. I love it. It's so comfy and cozy, and it has a little fringe at the bottom, so I love that. I got this skirt. is by American Apparel. It's just a basic um, knit, very stretchy knit material. It's a bodycon skirt, but it's like a thicker material. And then I also got this netted sweatshirt kind of thing. It's like a top. It's just a netted nude color and it has a hood on it. And this is by Alternative Apparel, I think. So I got that. And I've been obsessed with knitted stuff. I don't know why I like knit stuff. Like, I don't know why I like mesh knit stuff. I think it reminds me of like the 90s or something. 
I don't know if that's a 90s thing, but I was doing some Etsy shopping and I found I was referred to this site because I saw this girl had this on and I thought it was so cute. Mesh jersey and it has a um, high low bottom and it's white, has a hood on it and it looks really cool on like I'm pretty sure it's a man's garment but plan on wearing like wearing that over maybe um, a bandeau and some shorts or something like that. I also got this um, this mesh knit jersey top. This is thrifted and I got this for like 10 bucks and it's just like a dress and it kind of flares out at the bottom. It's really cute. I did buy a lot of stuff to help revamp my um, desk which is now going to be my vanity and once I get that finished I will show you guys the finished product and what it looks like and how I organized everything like my makeup and stuff. But yeah, make sure you guys make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.